typically uh, a pilot would be wearing a, a basic flight helmet. Pretty much uh, no displays associated with it and when flying at night the pilot would have to clip on nitrogen goggles which weigh about 500 grams. When a pilot's pulling 9 Gs, so it's like having a sack of potatoes hanging off the front of your head. And you know, pulling G, long duration missions really does provide a, a lot of neck discomfort to pilots. So it's difficult for them to do their job while they're still trying to combat a human physiological difficulty of having that heavy helmet. Striker 2, it's not just a helmet. It's a very high performance augmented reality display system. It enables the pilot to be able to do his job more effectively. It means that his pilot workload is reduced, he's having to think less and concentrate on the information which is important to him. He's got his heads up and eyes out the cockpit so that when he's in that stressful situation, he's able to do what he needs to do without putting himself at risk, without putting himself in danger, without causing him to feel discomfort. The absolute key thing that Striker 2 does, which no one else has in the world, is a big field of view, so a large area display, HD resolution, high brightness, daylight readable color display, combined with that integrated night vision piece. No one else in the world has that ability to do the, the high brightness, big field of view color, and the integrated night vision. The technology which we've got there is really looking towards the future. So if you look at things like the future UK combat air strategy, Striker 2 is at the forefront of that. The virtual cockpit concept, the way in which pilots are going to be doing their job in the future for the next 20, 30, 40 plus years. What we're doing today is really at the forefront of providing the way that's going to be used.